Happy Star Wars Day, everybody. May the 4th be with you. It's May 4th. Star Wars Day. Something that started a while back. And I was thinking of Star Wars. Of course, I grew up loving Star Wars when I was a kid. Once upon a time. <sighs> and then they came out with the new movies. And I thought to myself, the X-Wing fighters that the, the rebellions, the rebels have, they're, uh, I don't know where they get the word X, because X is like this, and then it's a letter in the alphabet. And when the fighters fly fast, and then this is their attack formation, the X-Wing fighters. But how do they come up with the letter X? Because they don't have X in their alphabet. So where would they come up with the letter X? I've seen their alphabet, and it's all goobly goo. Anyway, so I don't know why they're called X-Wing fighters or B-Wing or Y-Wing or whatever wing that they have. But uh, I'm more of a Trekkie anyway. But Happy Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. So today I'm going to talk about my rifle. It's an AR-15 variant, and I call it my "Thank Me for My Service" rifle because it's a, it's a vanity rifle, and I uh, got it made from different companies, and I had it put together. the The lower was made from got it from one of the guys in my old unit, the one sixtieth. We we had a reunion last November, and they were raising money. And they were selling them tire rifles, and I really didn't want to get a 16-inch uh, barrel something. So I said, hey, can I just buy the lower? And uh, got it from them, got it shipped through the FFL, because that's the part that's considered uh, you need a background check for. And the rest of it uh, I had put together, got everything that I wanted for it, and... It shoots great. It's threaded. It's a 223 wild caliber. In other words, it can shoot 223 and 556 five, with no issues at all as far as the pressure variants. So I want to do a video on that. I've had it out to the range many times. And it's a piece of work. So I'm going to do a video on that. And I hope you enjoy the video. May the fourth. Force be with you. So this is my thank you or thank me for my service AR-15 rifle. That's the external. I enjoy having my iron sights at an angle. Some people call it weird. But uh, it works for me. I just flip the rifle over, and I have my iron sights here pivoted. And it shoots, you know, fine. Because I have plenty of room up here for a scope or a thermal or digital. And I'll demonstrate that here in a little bit. So this is one side of the rifle. So on here, in 3rd Battalion, 160th. And then Desert Storm, <clears throat> and then 76th Infantry, Indiana National Guard, Enduring Freedom. It's a Spikes Tactical. Safe. Fire. And I can't make that out. And then down here I've got one of my unit patches. And it's got a grenade here. I guess I should zoom out. You can see the grenade. And what I have for the scope, it's a, it's a sight mark. Latitude 10 by 40. Now, sight mark, they're the same people that make my Wraith. And they, it's a very good scope for the price. You can find them on their website. 
And these are some of my badges, even though it was incorrect. I have a combat medical badge, but actually I have, plus they have a star on it. But, you know, whatever. Thank me for my service. This is the Night Stalker Beret Crest or Regimental Crest. Of course, that's my expert field medical badge. That's my uh, Desert Storm Unit 160th or SOCOM patch. And I'm going to turn the rifle over without knocking over anything. <clears throat> And the vanity continues. This is the uh, 76th Infantry Indiana Army National Guard patch. And I was a flight medic, so those are my flight medic wings. Of course, I was a paratrooper. Thank me for my service. And that was my first unit, the old uh, first SOCOM patch. And just to make a... And here is point the way, the regimental, the crest of... Uh, my 76 brigade and on this side it says here you know 30th anniversary 3rd battalion 160th and just to get a little vein it says here airborne desert storm afghanistan combat vet and I even have my aviation wings on the uh, dust uh, protector, and on the inside, outside, I have my EFMB on my rifle. So it's got a uh, nickel. The bolt carrier group is nickel plated. The uh, barrel, it's a twenty inch carbon steel mix and it uh, the suppressor that I use is from Griffith it's a recce 7 so I get their uh, mounts to me a 556 five, or 223 has absolutely no recoil at all come on it's, it's a 22 caliber and this just screws on. It took me six months to get this initially, but I tell you, so it's fun to shoot. It sounds so much less. Pew, pew. And this bipod, it's made for a 50 cal. It's a GGZ. It doesn't pivot or swirl. It just stays in place. I love my bipods. I, all of my rifles go on these bipods except for uh one of them see the, the little 22 goes on there and then of course i got this uh adjustable cheek rise so it's comfortable when i shoot and i can easily change out the uh sight mark scope and put on my sight mark rate. I've had it zeroed with my sight mark rate. So I gotta just unscrew that. And so I'm gonna just put the video camera down. And we'll be right back. So this is what my rifle looks like with the digital sight mark wraith. It's bulky. It's not something you want to take on a patrol, obviously. But in a fixed position, it uh, works just fine. I have a tripod that I get it mounted on. And uh, it fix, works just great on the tripod. So I should maybe get that tripod on on the next demonstration. So this is my uh, sight mark wraith. I have it zeroed for my 223 set up in there and it works great so this is my AR-15 on its tripod and of course I have it configured with my FLIR breech and this tripod is made by uh, 
called a 40 mic mic. Good tripod. Now this makes it real easy to swivel, go up and down, follow a target, you know, shoot ahead of it. And not real heavy. And uh, so you can see it's, I have it set up for my height. So at 5'11", I used to be a little bit taller. So I'm not slouching down or slouching up too high for it. And uh, it's what works for me. So, <clears throat> of course, I talked about my Magpul. And uh, talk about this side of the lower. And, of course, we talked about the other side. And so this is what it looks like from the rear. And it, uh, I don't have this turned on. But, uh, and then of course, when I shoot it, I just turn it at a little angle and I use my iron sights. And they look uh, just like anything else. So this is my my rifle, my thank me for my service rifle. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. May the 4th be with you.